I am Isis. Beloved ones, I speak to you today with so much love and excitement about the Golden Age. It is at this great time that we bring forward further information to you about the changes that are occurring on your dimension of 3D and 5D for each of you and for the planet. We say to each of you as the changes in energy will be felt and experienced by all. Many, however, will experience them in what we call a sleep state, not in a state of conscious awareness. Those of you who are consciously aware will benefit far greater than those that remain asleep. It is the accumulation of personal journeys that creates a conscious movement. In this state case, it is the movement towards the golden age, the age that so many speak of, dream of and wish for, the age that is being created now. You may have different ways of describing and naming the golden age, but if you will, we will call it the golden age. You may by your own choice replace this terminology with the words that resonate with you. There is a reason we will call it the golden age and this will become clearer as you read on or listen on. We have said before it is neither language nor its use that we are concerned with. It is the essence and the energy that is our passion. This is what we are here to impart and share about. The golden age is a time when the energy of the Christ consciousness energy moves to its next high octave. This is the frequency of the color gold. This level of consciousness is very different to the white Christ light that has prevailed for so long on the earth plane. That it is a flame that is linked to the ascension of one soul, spirit and heart center. It is the pathway of the ray of the moment it is the essence of now. When you have reached the planes of ascension, it is not an impossibility to be omnipresent while continuing in your own evolution. When you are living in the dimension that you are, it is difficult to comprehend the limitless possibilities within the abundant universe of creation which we journey within. However, there is a much deeper message here that we wish to bring your awareness to. There is a need for all souls, wherever they are on their evolutionary journey and whatever their role of service is. To continue with their own evolution. Evolution also occurs in the higher planes of existence. It is not an experience that ever stops. There is always change. Nothing is static and even as you experience, when you hear these words, you are changing. You are shifting your understanding and you are able to continue growing, getting closer to understanding and creating your own truth. So many of you have fulfilled your role in the birthing process of the golden age so far. And for you, you will find a time when you are linked 
linking in to the events in a different way. Do not think that you have been forgotten or you have moved away from your path. You will merely be assuming a new way of encouraging and working to inspire those that we refer to as being asleep. Many of you will be creating communities of light and love, communities which will have a higher resonance. If there is a time for you to return to the helm, if we can call it this, then your soul will guide you. All roles are so important, yet different. Some appear more important than others. This is an illusion as the matrix of change requires a full connection throughout the matrix. Difference does not, in our realm, mean hierarchy of importance. Of course, there are lights that lead the way for us on your plane, but they are part of the same matrix of evolution and change. They could not continue without every other role being filled. Beloved ones, Activate your Merkaba and ask that cleansing energies can be channeled to you so that you may release patterns of old. We suggest this now as it is time for you to release the old and time for you to birth into your new paradigm, giving birth to the new you. This, although we say new, is really about connecting you to your divine blueprint. This is a you that in essence is the real you, the you that the divine creators had imagined for each of you were intended to have your own unique experience and unique qualities to have your own resonance, resonance this time and space creates the opening for you to connect to your true essence. And we would suggest that you undertake this when the lunar energies are strongest. This will be most beneficial. So utilize this opportunity well. If you connect to this truth, focus inward and focus very deeply and connect to who you are so that you connect with the act of creation, creating a life that aligns your divine blueprint to your outer life and enlivens your soul essence once more. Understand your role as a creator as you create the life of the new paradigm of you. Many of you will have connected to this already. This will be the greatest moment for the energies of gold to connect with your dimension. It will be the result of the work that has gone on, that will go on between now and then by those who stepped up to activate. They activated their divine blueprint. It will be the greatest downpour of gold that this planet has ever seen and ever experienced. It will be the peak of the momentum that has already started. The portals that we spoke of earlier will be where the golden energy is received and anchored into Mother Earth. This is where it will reside for now as then the next stage of this journey 
will begin. So, beloved ones, hold joy in your heart. Celebrate with Mother Earth. Do not sit in reverence or in deep solitude. Find the groups and communities to share in the momentous occasion of the day. Spiritual history is being written. A significant milestone will have been reached. The anchoring of this level of frequency into Mother Earth marks a time that has never been reached before in the history of planetary and humanity evolution. Therefore, it is a great time of separation and achievement as your golden age becomes the new Earth. I am Isis, thanking you all for being here tonight Wishing you all so much love and blessings. Remembering, I am always at your service. Namaste. And I, Rosalie, thank you also for being here tonight. Namaste.